So what are macular degeneration injections? The thought of having anything injected into an eye usually fills patients with dread. These injections we use are drugs called Lucentis or Ilea that are available on the NHS that are given in microscopic doses such as 0.05 millilitres. The needle itself is a very fine needle that's injected through the white of the eye. It's painless, patients may notice some pressure and after the injection it feels a little bit gritty and is usually no pain at all. Most patients can resume almost all activities within a few hours. The commonly used drugs in the treatment of macular degeneration are Lucentis and Alia, which are available in the NHS for the majority of patients. A few patients, however, cannot access the care on the NHS, particularly if their vision is considered to be better than 6 over 12 or worse than 6 over 96. Such patients choose to seek treatment in the independent sector where they can obtain it. Lucentis and Ilea are the licensed drugs designed for use in the eye. Avastin, or Bevacizumab, is another drug that has been widely used in the eye and is of a very similar composition to Lucentis and Ilea. It has been studied extensively and found to be as effective and safe as the other two drugs in the management of macular degeneration. However, the cost of treatment is significantly lower. In the private sector, Lucentis and Ilea can cost anything from 700 to over £1,000 for the drug itself versus the cost of Avastin, which is around £250 for an injection. Whatever drug is used, patients will need frequent and repeated injections. It can vary. Some patients may only require three injections in a year, whereas others may need anything from nine to 12 injections per year. It is believed that ILEA or aflibercept may re result in fewer injections per year, but this may be a variation between patients. In the past, we used to treat only when there was fluid the better evidence base for this now is to treat ahead of the fluid and what we do instead is inject our patients and extend the interval of follow-up between each injection. We find the maximum interval they can tolerate before the fluid recurs and their vision deteriorates. This has been proven in studies to result in a better long-term prognosis. Now patients ask, does this mean I'm going to be injected forever? And the answer is, it varies. There have been about 20% of patients in studies who have only required three injections. Over time, most people do relapse to some extent when treatment stopped. Some unfortunate patients require ongoing treatment at varying intervals. There have been increasing concerns about accessing treatment in the public sector lately. This is partly because of increasing demand from lots of other diseases such as diabetes and macular, and macular degeneration that all compete for the same type of treatment. In the public sector there have been measures put in place to address the demand by making available more staff for injections and these would include nurse injectors. I'm proud to have trained up nurse injectors myself and they deliver an excellent service. Macular degeneration treatment in the private sector bypasses some of the barriers that are commonly encountered in the NHS. For example, there are no vision restrictions. If the cost of Lucentis and Ilea is prohibitive, Avastin is freely available. Patients are also reassured that they have one person accountable for their care and that they're in the experienced hands of a consultant retina specialist.